Peonia is a very small town in Colorado. There are only more than 1,000 population in this town, but they have very beautiful view and very good soil, good water here. Mainly, they have a lot of oil church. Our friend Jeff started a project here called Groundwork. So Greg and Rampai and Surya, they came here to help this year. They want to start a learning center and seed saving project and sustainable way of living here. And they did a lot of programs for students, for people to come and learn here. Rampai, Greg and Jeff used to live in Pan Pan before. So when they start a new project here, we come to visit them and help them. So they plan to have a small earthen building workshop here. So it is a good chance for us to come and enjoy the one of the most beautiful place here. I love this old church in this area a lot. They have many varieties of apples. All of them are very old, more than 40 years, 50 years here. So it's very old orchard, but still working very well. They have apple, they have peaches, they have pear and cherries, and many different kind of fruit trees in this area. It's so beautiful. Now is the season that they start to have flowers. It's so beautiful. It's like a heaven here. Most of the area in these towns are orchards or fruit trees. They grow a lot of fruit and sell all over the state. And our friend Jeff, he started this project last year. He's saving a lot of squash or pumpkin seeds here. He started seed saving project from last year and they grow a lot of corn. He eat a lot of what he grow here and it's our first time to learn how to eat corn, dry corn like this. Normally we eat fresh corn in Thailand, but here is very good taste. So I learned the technique how to make pasola here. It's very delicious. I love it a lot. They also have a lot of chicken here. Chicken lay a lot of eggs every day, so they can sell eggs here too because it's more than they can eat. They, get, they lay so much eggs every day. They also have one crazy dog that love to sleep like this. It's very funny. But in this area, the owner of the land, they start one project they call Trading Post. It's a very interesting project. The trading Post is a one building in the land that they have a kitchen here. Anybody can come and eat in this area and they can pay what they want to pay. There's nobody serve you. You don't need to order because they will cook whatever they have and put on the table and you can come and take whatever you want. So it's very interesting way of running a restaurant because there's no staff, not a lot of staff. And in another side of the restaurant of the building, they have the shop here. So most of the uh, the products in the shop is from farmer in this town. They bring all left over from their farm together here and they put the sign on it how much is the price this shop i love it a lot because you don't need to have a staff here they rely on trust among themselves so you put honey here you put uh, apple cider here you put grain put whatever you have here and you put this price on it the way the trading post work is very interesting if some farmer who bought apples here the price of apple he maybe make his own price like 
three dollars per pound. He maybe trade with garlic in the same price or even lower or lower or more. But they can put credit. They can leave their credit in the card that they have here, so they can trade without using money. Or if people have nothing to trade, they can use money also. It's very nice because in this shop is quite big, but no staff here. Customer will do it yourself, and then if you bring anything, you just put it in here yourself too. You can mark the price that you want, but it need to be fair for everybody. This is very interesting thing to do because you are quite independent from the system a lot. If you want to shop here, there's no container. You need to bring your own bag, your own container from home. You want to buy grain, buy flowers, you need to have your own bag. Fill up in your bag and measure it and pay money and go back home. This shop will be open 24 hours per day. You can come in any time and you can take whatever you want and you can trade with whatever you have. It's very rely on trust of the communities of people. I think this is a very beautiful. This is the most interesting place in Pioneer. When they have new visitor who don't know and who don't understand the system, they will have some people to help. But if no visitor, people who live here, they will manage themselves. They have card, they have a small card to show, to tell that what did you buy from here, what did you trade with it, or how much credit you have in here. They, many of them don't even use money in this shop. Like a bakery shop, they brought bread from their bakery to sell here. And at the same time, they trade their bread with flowers and sugar and everything from here. So they're quite independent here. It's a very interesting system. And then we start our urban building workshop. It's one day workshop. It's quite fun. There's a lot of people who haven't have experience about soil, about clay. They can come to play together. We start from making bricks and start to make the foundation from the cement blocks as a foundation. And we start to build. So one day workshop is not very long, but it's very fun when we start it. It's a little bit nice today because there's not too hot, not too sunny, but we just enjoy it so much. We are going to build a two shade here. It's not very big. It's about three by three meters. It's about and three meters high. It's not very big. So we can finish in one day actually, but we start it very late. They make bricks ahead of time for a few days and now we just come and work only one hour. We can go up higher than one meters already. In the late afternoon, it's quite cold and windy. So we try to do as much as we can, but it's quite too cold. This is what we can do in not many hours of building. So. It's too bad that we didn't start early because they uh, plan to work at that time. If we have a little bit longer, we can finish the whole wall. Most of people were very, were very happy. And after that, our friend will continue working on it. It will not take too long to put the roof on. They will have a tool shed as they want. We are very happy that our friends start their own projects here because Pan Pan don't want to be bigger and bigger, but we want more and more people to do things by themselves, to be independent. That is the way to be happy, to enjoy ourselves more.